13 love, 13 wisdom, 13 knowledge, 13 respect. Teach the many mortals. I believe I have some vital information. Many people like to ask, what do I read? That's why I have my laptop up here. I'm not sure if you can see the words, but it's just a few notes that I typed out that I thought was um, excruciating to the information. Please do not scroll. Donations are highly appreciated. Um, I've spent a week trying to put all this together, showing you the things that I see. So many come with their own explanations, their own research, that's fine. But I just have to, I have to get this out. Now, as we all know it, things just don't come out of thin air. Like we just don't make things up to these um, incredible myths or these incredible stories. I believe that a little bit comes from some real history or some real truth. So I would like to start off with this show called Night Sky. And they ended the series after season one and it's because I believe what they've shown. I believe they've shown too much and that they can't further the season. Um, somehow this magically aligns. Now Irene and Franklin, which is an older couple, they have a secret that they share underneath their home inside of a cave system, which is a portal-like device that allows them to go see a, another night sky within another world. Here's where the research come in at. Here's where you can say, I guess, I let it run wild. Now stay with me, because our original so-called flag had 13 stars. Remember I told you that 13 was significant, and the reason being is because I believe that the 13 stars actually align with the 13 planets. 13 planets? I know, right? I know, 13 planets. Where is he getting this information? I mean, the terrestrial planets, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Earth, the dwarf planets, um, Ceres, Pluto, Humea, Mecca, Mecca, Eris, and then the, gla the gas planets, which is Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Many people don't believe in the planets, and I try to break it down as the planets can also be planes as above, so below. Also, keep that in mind. So I dig a little deeper. What constellation has 13 stars? Come to find out that it is Hydra. Now, if many of you been following along, remember what I said, what all started this war, this parasite, Hydra. I'm just thinking, is it all aligning with the story? But then again, it also goes by the water serpent. And all of my work uh, revolves around the serpent. So how I keep coming across this parasite or this serpent, but don't get me wrong, because I researched it, and we also have Operation Hydra, which was in 1943, but alongside of Hydra, remember when I said, remember 13 is significant, because we they say that we have 10 major energetic vortices on the planet. If you go back in my videos, I went over these so-called 10 energetic vortices in reality when we really have 13. And this is why we have 13 is because they count the three pyramids as one. If you count them individually, it will come out to 13. But this is where it gets interesting because you know that the pyramids are not with the stars, right? Now stay with me because I'm not trying to bounce around too much. Now, night sky is the reason for me researching portals within cave systems. And this is what popped up. Twelve gates in Jerusalem. Now, don't get me wrong. There are gates in Jerusalem, but it's, it's the names when you break them down, which point out to these other gates, like the Lion's Gate, like how they show in the beginning of your movies. Um, it points to that gate in Egypt with the Sphinx, etc. So you see how I'm come, you see how this is all coming about? As it states, many civilizations believe that the cave systems were gateways to the underworld or realms beyond. This is where I have this pulled up because they state that there's three on the south, three on the west, three on the north, and three on the east. Now, from these places, it sounds like a portal device to where you can get to anywhere in the world to me. Thanks to the Mayans, they were actually proof to this claim because I was researching on how there was more than one energetic um, alignment dealing with these tantalizing sites. Uh, a whole civilization gone? Like, can we compare it to a real-life rapture? Uh, the Mayans today state that their ancestors went home. Pamupunku, Amara Quinchua, literally means the gate of the Puma. These are gateways. So are these gates really underground portals? As above, so below. Um, are we aligned with the stars above to access and to travel? You have to go below. These ancient civilizations didn't call it time, but had a relationship with it. It's like they embrace the time of simply being. Um, simple as that. 
but it's crazy that you're the only soul who can't travel the solar system and this is why i believe that this is one of the big secrets and why we have 13 main stars and this is why hydra has 13 stars in this constellation etc 